There's no danger of any trams uh, running me over, running me over, running me over. Oh, you are te- no, I'm having, you are having me on. Well, I can't believe it folks, look at this, we have got a tram coming up Talbot Road. I cannot believe it. I can't believe my eyes. What am I seeing here? I can't believe it. I did not expect to see that folks. Welcome to another video walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool it's a Friday evening and my goodness we have just had the most epic sunset here in Blackpool this evening it was amazing I'm gonna have to show you a picture on the screen now I think that this could be a calendar shot for 2025 what do you think to this look at that absolutely amazing yep and uh it's what what time is it about half past eight or something the sun's just gone down beyond the central pier there i can hear the music coming from the rides you can still see a bit of color in the sky and you know something else as well you can see rain coming down over there it looks absolutely epic i'm going to turn the camera around to show you oh i wonder what the hell that was it's a dj over there at the karaoke bar shout sounded really aggressive anyway let's turn the camera around i'll show you the, what we can see out here it looks absolutely awesome you know that dj then really <laughs> it really frightened me then with that voice anyway look at that reflection of the big wheel there from the central pier look at it there the rides are all going but just look at this now as we look out towards the irish sea just look at that now doesn't this make you want to be in blackpool come on this is why I like to live near the coast. Just look at this epic sunset. West is best. As I've said before, can't beat it. Yeah, so I've not actually been out for a while at night, have I? So I thought I might as well come out in Blackpool on a Friday night and for old time's sake. I haven't been out for ages and I've been away on holidays. Well, haven't I? So, um, I'll tell you what, there's a police van behind me. <laughs> oh my God, I've only just started. There's a police van behind me at the Central Pier. What's going on? It's not kicking off already, is it? But it's pretty lively along here. We've got the karaoke bar over there, Gaieties. There's a right racket coming from there. I might just take a walk down the back over there and I'll, uh, I'll head towards town. We'll see what it's like in Blackpool on a Friday. Friday evening getting towards the end of April it's been a funny day today it's been pretty good de decent but I tell you the weather's been all over the place lately what do you think I think it's been a bit of a cold spring so far is it going to warm up well we'll have to wait and see won't we I'm really sorry about this folks sorry to bring you this racket coming from just listen to that that is horrendous that that's a crime that's a crime that that should be uh, there should be an order against that yeah noise pollution anyway let's turn it let's look at the towel oh look at the tower all lit up Check it out. You're going to have to excuse the traffic noise, but I just want to show you this over here. Now, this is the Foxhall and the Reflex building over here. And this is actually the site of Blackpool's oldest building. Yeah, it goes right back to uh, about 1675, Foxhall. And well, look at that, my funny enough, Mercedes there, uh, why? get some right funny looks off people sometimes anyway that building there it's got a blue plaque by the way I have showed the blue plaque before to tell it that it's a site of Fox Hall one of the or the the first substantial building in Blackpool well it's been empty for a while and the Mark Kelly's group have bought it and they're going to turn it into a sports bar or something like that I'm not too sure we'll have to wait and see but you can see they've got a couple of skips outside so it looks like they're stripping it and once they've done that 
they're going to turn it into well we'll just have to wait and see i think i think it's going to be uh, a sports bar or something like that because they've already got a mar kelly's just round the corner here so they don't need another one i'm just going to take a look round there now anyway it's quite lively down there i'll tell you what i'll show you the blue plaque let's show you the blue plaque shall i i hope they keep the blue plaque there you go heritage trail fault have a look at it when you're coming past there yeah, 1670 was a house here built by Ed Edward Tilsley. And by the way, they named the road behind here Tilsley Road after the Tilsley family who who uh, built the house here. Look at that. Anyone want a sofa? What do you reckon? Needs a bit of uh, yeah, could do with uh, re re uh, covering. What do you reckon? It'd be all right that, won't it? Oh, I tell you what, I'm just looking over there again. That colour has not gone look at that can you see how orange it looks there down there you, that's un, honestly i don't know if i brought it to you in that photograph but it looked absolutely epic anyway let's have a look up here shall we we've got the new philly well that's a sports bar isn't it we're gonna have a bit of competition now aren't we from mark Ellis. and i was just talking over here about the mark Ellis. so they've already got an actual mark Ellis here it's mark Ellis central so that one is going to be a bit different but it does sound quite lively around here doesn't it folks what do you reckon i can hear a lot of singing coming from gaieties and also from the lifeboat just up here they're both very popular karaoke venues listen to this I hope that that doesn't pick up. I'll tell you what, it is a bit lively around here. Yo! <laughs> so we just got spotted by the light, but my goodness, it is, it is buzzing around here, folks at gaieties and the lifeboat check it out it's the hardwick cheapest pint in the uk one pound eighty get yourself in the hardwick there you go the big three strongbow john smith and foster's one pound eighty a pint check it out but i'm gonna make my way up this way in a few people that view of the tower whoa that is a classic view of blackpool tower straight down foxhall road and uh, here's a little look back and we've got a few chippies around here we've got the sea wave we've also got lilies i went into lilies with the map master and just over here we've got the sea very popular here on the corner of Chapel Street. So I'll just nip back onto the promenade and we'll have a little look at the central pier. Quite a few people around. There you go. So there's a look at the central pier there. Let's have a look at that view of the tower. Now, I've said before that these massive screens they've got now in Blackpool, this one's on the side of the waxworks, they're so bright. I think they're a bit distracting, what do you think? Anyway, uh, that is Madame Two Swords, of course, and uh, we've got a place there called Bubble Tea, I think I've shown it before. This is Happy Days, of course, friends of the channel. Uh, got a telephone here. Uh, someone's been having a drink. Drink. And there's a cash machine as well. I've never used a cash machine like one of the <laughs> that just sticks up out of the ground. Because well, you seem to get a lot of abuse, don't they? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, well, it's working. Can you see the lollipops over there? They're pretty much straight up. But that means 
sorry about the traffic noise it's very busy at the moment there's no wind yeah pretty much no wind here on a blackpool promenade and now i'm just outside funland and uh, let's carry on shall we oh i can hear sirens folks it's kicking off in blackpool oh look at this hey there you go blame it on me don't mention the landau's to me <laughs> if you've seen the video you know what i'm talking about the map master did it again <laughs> oh my goodness we went on a pink landau that's all i'm gonna say Well, we've made it to Coral Island what do you think how are we looking for a Friday night uh, no holidays at the moment we've got a lot of traffic on this side of the road parked up there you're not supposed to park over there by the way you're not really allowed to park over there no there's music playing outside here so I might need to cut this little bit off but this is how it looks outside Coral Island I thought I'd bring you down to the front again just looking towards the big wheel on the north side it's uh, lit up on this side didn't know it was lit up on this side maybe that's new for this year but uh, I just got to show you this again oh it looks absolutely epic just look at that there that cloud with the rain coming out of it that looks insane wow and just up there's a the north pier and you can see the bloom bar lit up at the end there in the purple Check it out, I've just found an Elmer. Yeah, this one's called Elmer Armfield. Yeah, so this must be named after the famous footballer who played for Blackpool, Jimmy Armfield. And uh, you might know him from the BBC as well because he was a commenter on the BBC. So there you go, a Blackpool Football Club themed Elmer. And these, they've got these all over Blackpool and you can look for them and there's an app on your phone that you can get and you see how many you can find. I don't know about you but it does seem quite busy actually you know tonight I know there's no school holidays at the moment that I'm aware of but uh, it does seem pretty lively I have to say yeah let me know what you think in the comments there's quite a few people outside the Albert and the line check it out and the weather spoons of course It's always busy in the weather spoons, isn't it? But I am just about to walk under the famous Blackpool Tower. Check it out, look at this. Must be something going on in there as well. The tower's open this time I'm making my way towards town we'll check out and see what it's like in the town so, oh there's another Elmer there look there you go there's another one just outside the tower and this one is called the clown Blackpool amusements the newest amusements here in Blackpool and uh, I've just noticed as well that it looks like they're leaving these uh, eliminations up yeah, they're leaving. They seem to be leaving most of the illuminations up. Yeah. How about that? So they're not taking them down like they normally do. They've taken the tableaus down, you know, up towards uh, Bisbon. I can hear music coming from the beach house over there. That's a very popular venue over there. A little bit higher class. The beach house. And of course, that's the wedding chapel over there. 
I've made it to Papa's, Papa's Fish and Chips, the biggest in Blackpool. Got a lot of scaffolding on here, they uh, must be doing the building up. Just down there is Viva. There's always something going on at Viva. But there you go. Oh, they've actually got a glowing Elmer just outside. The uh, tourist information, a glowing one. So check it out if you come into Blackpool. Oh, nobbies. It's always banging in nobbies. Oh, there's so much music down it. I think I'm going to have to uh, mute this. They've actually got a singer on there. That's not karaoke, that coming from the mitre, by the way. That's an actual singer. I thought it sounded a bit too good. Just coming up to Market Street. Well, it's absolutely banging in Brannigan's. Check it out. We've also got Hush there as well. Yeah, just here we've got the Leighton Rates Weather Spoons if you want a, a little bit of a quieter night. Next to Weather Spoons, we've got Yates's. If you do go to Yates's, have a look at the building that it's in because that's a, a grand old building now. It's called Feldman's Arcade. If you look at the front, you'll see that it's got a very nice facade on the front. A little bit more grand at the front than it is at the back, but it's a really, really nice building. That's an old music hall, that, yeah. And now we're coming into Talbot Square. Well, I'm just coming into Talbot Square now, and uh, I can hear music coming from all over the place. Straight ahead is a counting house, and it's absolutely banging in the counting house. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want the music to flag up. But uh, this is Talbot Square, just over there we've got the old Royal Bank of Scotland building which is now uh, an Airbnb, it's got Airbnb flats, it's also got a night, uh, sorry not a nightclub, a bar, H2O bar on the ground floor there, check it out. And just over here we've got the Trilogy. Now the Trilogy is where rumours used to be and I think before rumours it was gents wasn't it and of course this was where Yates's wine lodge used to be the premier in Talbot Square yeah, it's absolutely mad around here and it's still early Still early than that. Here's close for Hayes to Bottom. Going down the strand now. And I'm heading towards Queen Street. Just past Pot World here on the left. Food bars. Sinless. Lap dancing. Walk about. Yo. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I just got spotted by some fans of the channel, and he said uh, he saw my video in Dallas. Uh, the guy was from Scotland, so hi to you, and his wife was uh, Spanish, I believe, he said. So hi to you, and thanks for watching the channel, I'm glad you like it. And uh, I'm now here in Queen's, Queen's Square, so just behind me we've got the Soul Suite. We've got loads of takeaways. Uh, just up here, we've got the Slug and Lettuce, we've got loads of places around here. In fact, have we got a new place over there called Pretorius? Oh, there might be a new place, you know check it out so there's walkabout of course looking pretty quiet at the moment well, I mean it is pretty early the night is young crazy horse over there hasn't been open for a long time but keep an eye on it though because I saw some work going on in there next to that is a place called Notorious uh, I can see someone in there but I don't know If it's open or not, if they're what, can't tell. Anyway, we'll carry on. 
just over here we've got bar 19 of course um, seems pretty quiet at the moment in bar 19 it's usually banging in there bar 19 and just here we've got Sherlock's check it out looks pretty classy doesn't it Sherlock's 31 Queen Street looks like they've got a new restaurant here check it out restaurant there you go open until 10 p.m here on queen street check it out i don't think i've seen that before i can hear someone arguing a little bit Ooh. i think it's kicking off here Definitely kicking off between two lads there. This is the galleon. Yeah, I'm just going to make my way this way, away from that bit of trouble there. Back towards Talbot Road. That's the station on the corner. Straight ahead, you can see the Winter Garden, straight down Abingdon Street there. Look, look at that big dome there on the top. Whoa. It's pretty impressive, the Winter Gardens. I'll tell you what, it's a little bit rowdy, you know. Yeah, anyway, I'm now walking on the tram tracks. But uh, there's no danger of any trams uh, <laughs> running me over. Well, they have been testing them this week, though. Yeah, they've been trundling up and down here. Just wait until they get the trams running up and down here properly and the beer monsters fall out of Mark Ellis. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Oh, you are taking... No, oh, I'm having... No way! You are having me on! Well, I can't believe it, folks. Look at this. We have got a tram coming up Talbot Road I cannot believe it I can't believe my eyes what am I seeing here I am seeing a tram oh my god I can't believe it I did not expect to see that folks wow that is amazing of course it's testing it's not picking people up it's just testing look at that wow I hope they're uh, watching out for the beer monsters at Mark Kelly's. Here we go, Mark Kelly's now. And the tram's going into the station, there you go. Well, I did not expect to see that tonight. How about that? I didn't think they, they would be testing them at this time of the night. There you go. Amazing. looks fairly quiet at Mark Kelly's at the moment but uh, yeah that was amazing I can't believe we've just seen a tram come up here and go into the station wow and there it is right down there how about that wow Beer monsters. I won't get too close. But uh, he's not a bad singer. So. The catch. One of our newest chippies. Some excitable people around. Funny girls, 
funny girls, yeah. There you go. Very, very popular. We're now in the in the Pride Village. Very, very colourful around here. Check it out. I'm just about to go across the rainbow. Oh, here we go, folks. OK, I've skipped along a bit, folks. I'm now at the bottom of Springfield Road near the Promenade and the Metropole Hotel. And this is the old electric established 2020. What is it? Is it like a little theatre or something? The old electric. I don't know. Let's have a look. It's a, it's, it's a theatre, isn't it, of some sort? What do you think? Never really taken any notice of it before, but this is where it is. It's uh, just here. And I'm going to walk down this way. I have skipped forward quite a bit to the promenade. And there's a metropole there. So we've made it through town. And I'm just going to nip back to the left here. Just going to go past Woody's where Benidorm meets Blackpool and this place hasn't been open for a while is it still open? it's in the old Princess Theatre I believe it's called the Princess Theatre this a nice old building very similar to uh, the one I showed you before up there um, Feldman's Arcade which was a music hall yeah uh, there is a new place just up here before we get to Soul Suite um, and it's called the Bee's Knees. Check it out, the Bee's Knees. There you go, that was banging in there. It looks pretty classy as well. It does, yeah. And uh, this is a Soul Suite, of course. It's quite popular, a lot of people ask about the Soul Suite. There you go. And we are now back at Queen Street. And I've just found another Elmer. <laughs> Keep bumping into these Elmers. Look, what's that one called? This one is called Elmer Unwrapped. Well, I tell you what, it's warming up here on Queen Street. The night is still young, though, but that was a look around Blackpool on a Friday evening. First time I've done it for a while. So there you go. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.